Um, <laughs> Why did you say that? Kevin's like, parents like a real character. Oh, yo, I had this friend um, that went to Maryland, mm-hmm. and um, I saw him after sophomore year, and uh, I was like, "Oh, dude, how's Maryland going?" He's like, "Oh, I got. I have to take a. I I have to take some time off." And I was <laughs> like, "Why?" And he's like, uh, "My roommate uh, ru- ruined my life." What? What happened? So he like went into this long story about his his roommate, <laughs> this guy. Uh oh, this guy Rob. Uh-huh. <clears throat> who went by XPR Extreme Party Rob? Yes. And so, first of all, hell yes, that guy sounds awesome. So Rob, like, yeah, um, I got my name from a Nissan. So, <laughs> so he's like, so Jesse's like, okay, so first of all, people, Maryland people love to riot, dude. So like, we riot, <laughs> we love, we love to find any excuse to riot. So anyway, last year we win the women's NCAA basketball championship, and we're like, fuck yeah, oh we're gonna fucking God. riot, and. uh um, there's a picture on ESPN.com of this enormous fire with like sofas in there and stuff and some dude uh, doing the double devil horns with the tongue like doing the pussy eating tongue yeah, in between yeah, it of course. jumping over the fire and he was like yeah that was Rob dude that was XPR <laughs> so basically he just like wake up in the morning XPR like they shared a room XPR would slap him in the face wake up in the morning and be like alright here's a handle of Cuervo Here's a fucking ounce of weed. We're gonna fucking be black up on you. <laughs> just like ruined his life. And so yeah, Jesse had to take a year off That's of school so because he was living with this absolute monster. One time, Rob, I was the XPR rules. I, I want to hang out with this XPR, guy. XPR, dude. Extreme party. XPR rock. should be fourth mic on the show. Dude, know, anyone with well, party in their name. Mm-hmm. Like I met, I was on when I was opening for Wham City on tour. The first tour we did, we were in Philly, and there was. We just crashed these people's houses, you know, and, uh, you know, there was like six of us on the tour, so we were like sleeping on floors and shit, and at like 8, 8 or 10 a.m., some guy just wanders in fucked up, just opens the door, knew the people, I guess, and he's like, hey, man, it's party Steve, man, where's the party? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're like, wake, it's 8 a.m., dude, what the yeah, fuck yeah, are you yeah. talking about? He's like, fucking party Steve, you guys want to get fucked up, man? <laughs> and he was some guy who in his 20s was like, he was party Steve, he knew all the parties in Chicago, he had like a text group, but now he's just like some pathetic old man. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. And he's just... And he just wouldn't leave, and he's like, "All right, I'll go." We were like, "Dude, we don't know you. We don't know who the fuck you are, dude. Get the fuck out." My friends had 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 guys like that when I was like a teenager. There would always be like one or two guys that were like in their forties. There's this one guy, John, that would hang out, and John was like homeless, I guess, and mm-hmm. like live with his parents who were in their like late seventies. And he was like, you know, 45, yeah. huge, just disgusting dreads, gray hair, <laughs> oh, giant no. beard. A white guy? Yeah, a white guy. Oh, God. And he was like a relatively nice guy, but it was like, why are you hanging out with us or yeah. whatever? And he had these long, shitty, homeless guy nails. No. And uh, I was like, why do you keep your nails like that? I'm like, don't you have, like have like the, I, I would, I can't. Like, I love my guitar. Well, I'm like, <laughs> I would, I would fucking chew my nails off there that long. I yeah. don't know how you do it. And he goes, uh, He's like, well, you know, I actually, uh, if you work your your fingernails under each each other, there's like nerve centers, and that's what you, you you're basically getting at when you chew your fingernails off. Is like it's there's stress relief from from hitting those nerve centers. So I just sort of work my fingernails underneath each other, and that sort of relieves it for me. He goes, plus on the streets, you know, it's like ten knives. So <laughs> <laughs> he just adds that part at the end. And uh, uh, he had such a funny way of talking. One time he one time we were all fucked up, and he's sitting there, and he's like. Well, you know the expression suckling babes. You've ever heard that, suckling babes. I'm like, no, but go on. And he's yeah. like, well, the reason people say that is what that dates to. Uh, idiomatically, the suckling babe was in the Roman Colosseum. You know how we go and we have like, you know, hey, beer me, or they got a guy selling peanuts or whatever. In the Roman Colosseum, they, the statesman would order a suckling babe, which was an orphaned baby. And they would basically hold the baby, you know, like a cheeseburger over their dick and just get their like dick sucked oh, by babies what? during like, you know, while watching the gladiators <laughs> and stuff. And I was like, Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> what the oh, fuck? my God. Yeah, it yeah. also doesn't sound real. It's absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, what are you talking a about? A suckling pig is a... Just, well, what do you, this, what's the expression of suckling babe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. When, do you, when do you use that expression? <laughs> it's not like, yeah, it was a real suckling babe over at Panera the other day. <laughs> <laughs> is it, it's just John going around with this weird pedophilia story in his head. <laughs> there, was this, there was this one guy, this yeah, other yeah. old guy, a different guy, that used to hang around. I met him one time. And... Uh, 
this guy was fucking hilarious, dude. He was probably in his like early forties again, mm -hmm. and he's got this stupid Jägermeister lanyard he's showing off to people. He's like, yes. "Check this out, dude! Isn't this fucking cool? Yes. I got this Jägermeister lanyard." And then he goes, uh, "He was like, yeah, actually, I fucking won the lottery like two years ago." <laughs> and it's true, he won the lottery. Wait, seriously? Yeah, this guy won like uh, like three or four hundred thousand dollars or some shit. He like hit hit it big in like the Mega Millions or something. I don't know. He like matched enough that he won the lottery. And he's like, yeah, so I just buy all kinds of fucking electronics and shit. And he's like, I got this fucking big mixing board. You know, he's like, I don't even know how to use that shit, but I got it. I keep it in my truck, dude. He's like, I bought a, I bought a, like, uh, this like $250,000 semi. I just park it. It was like illegally parked on the street because he didn't know how to drive it. He was just <laughs> living in a semi that he bought. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then yeah, I, like, love, I just love buying electronics. I love dude. that type of rich. There are a bunch of pro athletes that get into like buying Mac trucks and yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's like, their thing it's like buying industrial like but this farm guy, equipment this guy didn't even have like a house or anything right no he was just <laughs> living in that fucking truck he bought with all his money <laughs> my uh that is so fucking good in college i knew this guy will uh, who i thought was the biggest fucking retard i've ever met mm -hmm. he was always blackout you know he was always like just the guy at the park he's from north dakota so like height of winter in dc he'd be wearing like a light north face windbreaker mm -hmm. and fucking shorts and corona flip-flops oh yeah yes. yeah with the fucking beer opener on hell the bottom yeah, of the yeah hell yeah i think i thought he was retarded and senior year i like go up to him i was like oh so will what do you do it uh what do you do it after uh we graduate he's like I'm going to Berkeley. And I was like, <laughs> uh, UC Berkeley. He's like, yeah, I got into law school there. I just fucking, uh, I just fuck. I didn't study, but I took the LSAT. I got like almost a perfect score. Uh, and I was like, what are you really? And he's yeah. like, I was like, what's your major? He's like, what have you been studying these last four years? He's like, it's like something, it's like a major I made up that's like, it's like a, a math and philosophy, like like the philosophy of math, basically. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no fucking way. Anyway. He's just so much smarter than you. Freshman year, he had this group text uh, going around mm -hmm. where he'd hit people up and be like, it's going the fuck down right now. Like, this is where we're pre-gaming. This is where we're going tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he he sends out this text, um, you know, and he'd send out texts at 3 a.m. to the group text that was like, just like, you know, he's blackout, not making any sense. But one night we all get a text in the middle of the night, like 2, 2.30 a.m. He's like, yo, I'm getting fucked up with the deaf kids down at Gallaudet <laughs> University. <laughs> <laughs> There's a deaf college in DC. Yeah, Gallaudet, baby. So he somehow blackout navigated DC to Northeast, got to Gallaudet and went to their party. He's like, this shit is crazy. They're not playing any music. <laughs> 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 is it just a lot like an elaborate light show yeah i don't know maybe lights or something That's he's awesome. like he's like they're drinking so fucking hard dude i just did a shot of everclear <laughs> he's just like sending these long fucking did uh, you go mass text no i didn't go to the deaf school to go funny, party dude. with will did he fuck any deaf men or women he probably i don't know uh, he probably yeah he i remember his job i whatever i'm not saying his last name his job in college was he was like the body man for the senator from his home state oh really yeah yeah he used to like drive him around and huh. stuff like that oh and you'd wow. see him you'd either see him in fucking basketball shorts and corona flip-flops or in like a fucking suit and be like yeah i'm going down to capitol hill i gotta drive the senator <laughs> <laughs> so he was just like some rich his dad had like oil fields apparently he could have gone pro uh he could have gone pro skiing Oh my god! But he, pro ski, so he's rich so as like, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have was, to be a bully. He didn't bully hard enough. Yeah. That's how you <laughs> become a pro skier. Yeah, yeah. It's like we're taking the mountain away from the snowboarders. <laughs> the no. the fucking piece of shit snowboarders. The no, hell no. you are, man. He's yeah. like, yo, over break up. Me and my Protestant girlfriend are gonna take over. <laughs> no, the he wasn't that kind of guy at all. He was he was a very down to earth like fr he was like a dumb dog kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go home this uh, winter break, shred some gnar. You got like some fresh pow pow on the. I read, <laughs> was reading the report. We got some fresh pow pow. Let's just go home and uh, shred some gnar. And I've uh, never skied in my life. It's 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 kind of fun. I've done it like twice. It's not fun. It seems gay. Snowboarding is hard as Both shit. Both of them dude. are hard. All 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 I want sports a tube, are difficult. Baby. Yeah, tubes are all right. Have you, you surfed? Where you just sit there and I'll never surf. 